All right, I'm back with a, another way to power my Starlink Mini. And this is actually cool because it will power the uh, Gen 2, Gen 3, and Starlink Mini, which I have here. It'll do direct to DC power. You have an AC cable that goes to a wall wart that goes, or that goes to a power brick that goes to the input. You also get USB, so you can charge USB stuff. I'm actually going to see if I can power my Mini off the USB-C too, because I do have the... Uh, USB-C to Starlink Mini cable that I bought myself. Now it comes with a variety of cables. Here we're going to be using uh, this CB9 to power the unit that it comes with. And it, it it has stuff that you can do for the other dishes, like that, you know, still have the power over Ethernet and stuff. So that's what that's all about. Now a little bit more about this battery. It'll provide 48 volt and 57 volt power over Ethernet. It does have a LAN port for connecting a third-party router if you wanted to do custom setups that's pretty cool i don't really mess with that especially with my mini but if you did need that for something that would be great this has a 648 watt hour removable battery pack you actually it shows you in the manual how to remove it and replace it which is pretty cool uh, they do have an optional 298 watt hour lighter pack although this isn't really that heavy this should run starlink mini for about 24 hours per charge gen 2 for about 14 hours because remember gen 2 is actuated so the actuation motor actually uses a lot of electricity uh, gen 3 standard about 14 hours that's when you're in the 57 volt mode and again it does have a hot swap battery system you just come around here on the back and it comes with the allen key you just remove the four allen things there's a connector and then you just change the battery. So you could actually carry multiple batteries with you if you needed to. I imagine this is for people that are in the field a lot or are, you know, uh, like doing a lot of remote work somewhere where they're, I don't know, servicing oil wells. It's just something where you're in the middle of nowhere and you need the power and then you can just have a couple of the batteries. And then you don't have to pay for all the guts multiple times because the battery's, you know, going to be cheaper by itself than it is with all of the electronics. You could charge this with solar if you wanted with 200 watt power or 200 watt solar panels you know it could do about four hours uh, under ideal conditions with one panel around eight hours under ideal conditions pretty cool and you can actually charge this while you're powering your starlink so you could deploy starlink you could deploy some solar panels as long as the sun's somewhat decent and your panel's somewhat decent you'll actually be putting in more energy than you're taking out which will be cool if a cloud comes over or something it doesn't matter because you got battery power and it does have a smart power management system you know like i said it has the quick charge and power delivery ports and like i said it's not really intended to do the dishy from that 60 watt but I've never seen my mini pull more than 60 watts in the app, so we're gonna try it. It is IP54 rated. This is a polymer shell. The handle's really nice. Um, it's attached with metal, so it's gonna hold up pretty good. Great for, you know, like I said, field contract workers or field workers, uh, field content creators. That's why I have the mini, so I can go do stuff remotely since I live out here in the middle of nowhere. And then, you know, remote work sites, emergency comms. This would be nice when I do, um, I'm not part of the amateur radio emergency service here where I live because I don't actually think there's one in my county. But when I was in Indiana, this would have been really great for that because I could have taken this and had internet to augment our communications with on top of our amateur radio. Should have been really fun. So let's get this hooked up to the dish. We're gonna have to move it to the ground and so I can get a clear line of sight for the sky and I'll be back. We'll start with the cable that they want you to do it with and then we'll see about the USB. And then here's that cable. It's going to do the power over Ethernet to the barrel jack that goes into the Mini. So we're all hooked up. It fit nice and snugly in there like the factory one. I'm going to turn the power over Ethernet on right out of the gate. 8 watts, 9 watts. don't know if you guys can see that. Let me zoom in a little. There we go. You can see that. Pretty good display. Um, it's nothing fancy, it doesn't need to be. It just gives you some basic information there. So I will go ahead and get my other phone out. Let me not lose this RJ cover. And then we'll go into the Starlink app. I'll disconnect from the house. So Mars Base is the house and Mars Rover is the uh, Mini. There will be an update because I haven't done this in a while. I'm gonna zoom back out. There we go. The Mini is doing its thing. Back out a little more. And right now we're drawing 22.6, 21.6, 22.6. It's down, down to 99% on the battery. I did charge it to full. We'll let this calculate orientation. And again, it's going to have an update and then we'll come back. 
Oh, actually, you can see it's already downloading the uh, software update down there, even though it's still, you know, calculating orientation. I'll probably need to adjust it a little for optimal, but it should work fine. Like, I've used this thing on the dashboard of my car as I'm driving around out here in Monument Valley, so this should be great. But it's clearly powering the satellite dish because we've gone from 2 to 7%, 9%. And yeah, once that's done and has rebooted and everything, we'll go ahead and do a bandwidth test and stuff. And then we'll go ahead and try the uh, USB-C through the power delivery port, which again, I don't think they really recommend, but you know, this isn't about the battery, but you gotta love that. Uh, it's only been two or three minutes and it's already aligned. And I just set it down. I didn't even try it. I just looked at the one on the roof and kind of eyeballed it. I, I really like the mini. It is such a great thing. Like, like I said, I've, I've used it on the dashboard of the car while I'm driving around. Oh, now it's determining alignment again. But it's just such a great little thing. And having batteries like this one, especially this one, this one's kind of beefy compared to those other ones I have. The other ones I have will run it for a couple hours, a few hours. This will run it for 24 hours. Uh, you know, if there's ever a long-term situation where the grid's down, I could charge this thing all day long from solar panels as long as the sun's cooperative. And if not, I have a ton of power stations. I could run the house dish off a power station, but if I needed to leave the house and still needed internet, I could grab this thing and it would just be so great. The update has been applied, so let's go ahead and run a speed test just, I don't know, because it's the easiest way to show that the Starlink is working. Man, it's just crazy. Since I got Starlink Gen 2 about four months ago, I mean Gen 3, and since I got this Mini about a month and a half ago, two months ago, like the speeds have increased. It's it's amazing. Like this is satellite internet. It's internet from space. And, you know, I wish the upload was better, but that's mostly just the uh, limitations of the dishes. Yeah, pretty good. So let's go ahead and switch it over now to see if I can get it run off the USB-C, which they don't intend you to do, but I want to see if I can do it anyway. Unfortunately, it does not want to power the dish off the power delivery. I imagine there's some handshake there or something that it's not doing. But so just make sure you don't lose that PoE plug. Uh, I'm sure you can pick up another one of those too. And yeah, I think you'll you'll be in good shape. Kind of disappointing about that, but they didn't market that as a feature, so that's okay. Uh, I really like this thing. 